What's crack lacking, ladies and gentlemen? It's brawl report time. Guys, look at me. 85% on the battery. Are you kidding me? But as you guys know, these Bro Report episodes, we chill out, take a look at what the community is talking about here recently. And seeing that we are kind of close to this next update, a lot of stuff has been discussing speculative stuff. So if you like that, we're getting into some of it. A little bit more laid back though. And hey, if you enjoy it, be sure to subscribe. I'd appreciate it. But I wanted to start off this episode here today after I was having a interesting conversation with some of my speculation buddies, i.e. Dandy and Chosen, the one who runs the CLB Twitter page. I'm sure you guys have heard of them, but we were talking about a few of the most recent posts that the Brawl Stars dev team have made over on the social media is giving us possibly some interesting information about the next update. Now, like I've been saying on the channel, it seems like the dev team have been changing up how they've been giving us Easter eggs. We've been getting these really blatant ones with like hypercharged sneak peeks and literal skins from surveys that is one for one the skins that are being designed in the game. Where it's been a while since we've had like fun, juicy stuff like this as well that makes you question things. So it's a little bit on the lighter side of speculation, but I just like to toss it out there. What are people discussing inside of the community? So we have this post one day ago advertising the new Jesse skin that was coming out. As you can see, Jesse's tracking down those mushrooms looks like on the hunt for Cordelius and obviously a hey, first thing that came to mind my speculative brain going off it's like hey maybe a Cordelius brawler fitting in but another thing that got a lot of people talking about this photo is the star rail in the background here so the star rail has been in the game for a little bit now that's associated with the mystery at the hub location within star park as you can see here just take a look at a piece of one of the maps the environment itself we have star rail there. It's just a train station or a subway station, right? And again, I don't feel fantastic about this. My speculation gut or gut feelings isn't going crazy right here, but the Star Hub trio does only have two brawlers in it, so I don't know. There might be a potential there. Who knows? But it is pretty dang common practice that the dev team uses different locations within Star Park in the backgrounds of photos, and it doesn't end up meaning a whole lot, but there's always that potential, knowing the Brawl Stars dev team, you know what I mean? But another one I didn't really think a whole lot about that was pointed out by Chosen here to me is involving this photo here of Thor BB, the advertisement. We're currently in the like Bulls Diner location within Star Park, but what is really intriguing about this photo that I didn't notice the first time was all the different food items surrounding BB, like she's causing havoc, but most of them are just food items. We got a pizza box, we've got some, what are they, corn dogs up there? <laughs> a lid to a cup there, we have a max energy drink, a lollipop, right? All food items. Now this like food court theme or Brawl Stars cafeteria theme has been in the talks for such a long time. I believe it was first proposed by Lex some time ago where there's actual physical locations within Star Park, the investor video where you can see like burger stands and stuff like that. And it's pretty dang regular to see different food products throughout Star Park without any like association. You see it a lot in the castle courtyard theme where Ash is holding like boxes of pizza and stuff like that. And just recently, Recently, if you guys didn't know, with the different themes that we have for skins here in the game, they've developed custom backgrounds to represent that theme. And just recently, we had a original custom food court theme here. For like Pizza Ash, I believe Dynamite is in there with a skin, but we'll go over it more specifically here in a minute. But you can see there is a dedicated background to it with like a Happy Meal bag and a burger there. And we're in like a restaurant, right, with the doors and we can see some fries, a drink, a burger. And there is already an established theme here, right? Starry Meal. We can go to the collection and see all the different skins associated with it. I have no idea if this is going to come to the game or anything like that, but Little hints here and there from the dev team seem to happen quite often. And I don't know, I think it's just important to kind of keep in mind. But with all that being said, I am still feeling the best about what we speculated upon four days ago. Now at the point that I'm recording this video around like a castle courtyard or castle theme coming back to the game in some way and Grom and Ash getting some love here in the next update, possibly with a new brawler in the family. Not only from the different like Mortis skins and stuff like that fitting that theme, I'm sure you guys are sick of me talking about these
these freaking skins, dude. But <laughs> this is some of the biggest info that we have to go off in order to predict this next update. So yeah, my bad. But you know, now that I'm thinking about it, Dandy points out a really good point. Did you guys forget about the Royal King Frank skins that were supposed to come to the game? I think announced two updates ago. There's a red version and a blue version celebrating like a Clash Royale collaboration, I would say. But they're still not here in the game. It's supposed to be launched over on the Supercell store. And I don't know, I would think maybe a CRL a collaboration with pins and those Frank skins might make sense to be launched in like a castle theme, right? We have Danny pointing out here some interesting developments as well, helping to support this potentially. The Supercell store is getting a lot of improvements. For now, only Clash of Clans has gotten the upgrade. There are more offers, bonuses, points, and challenges for even more items. Maybe the red and blue king Frank will finally come when Brawl Stars store is updated. If that's the case, it might be a nice little kind of coming together, right? The castle Frank skins, maybe like a castle courtyard theme with these mortar skins and stuff like that. So still feeling pretty dang good. It's the best speculation that I feel like I'm feeling about for this next update. <laughs> Seriously, as in other news, literally just talking about it. Look at this. Seriously, it's always been five months. They have to be trying to line it up for something else, right? It doesn't take this long to design skins that were announced in a Brawl Talk such a long time ago. Superzell, I think I forgot something. <laughs> if you've got, then it isn't important. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Blue King Frank and Red King Frank. Not only that, dude, I'm more so looking forward to the pins that are coming out. We are getting like some really troll CRL pins like the he he ha Clash Royale pin, the pig shaking his butt pin, that thing's hype. There's so much good stuff coming from this collab. I think it might make sense that they're just waiting for the perfect time to release it. So maybe it's this update. <laughs> We're taking a little Reddit detour here. <laughs> Dude, I've never once paid attention to this. Ever since Melody came out, it became such a big deal that she was like this freakishly tall brawler. But then we're seeing comparisons like this. Poor Frank. The tank is raw the entire game. Piper is just taller than Frank. <laughs> looking up at Piper. This is so funny, dude. Brawl Stars has been popping off recently with the influx of new players. I feel like they've gotten more funny. Brawl Stars a bit more funny. Not crazy funny, but a bit. But moving along to our next segment, we'll go back to Reddit here in a minute, but I happened to stumble across an episode here from Jude Brawl Stars not too long ago, and it's called Luckiest Player in Brawl Stars 100 Legendary Star Drops. I've been looking around in the community quite regularly for those legendary star drop winners that got to open up 100 with our most recent community event that we had for the 100 star drops. And I haven't really come across any of them, but I would implore you guys to take a look at this. Supposedly there was a Chinese player who ended up winning something like this. I'm not sure if they celebrated the same exact event, but I couldn't imagine any other way someone would be able to open up this many legendary star drops outside of an event like that. So maybe someone over in the Chinese version got lucky winning the 100 legendary star drops. Watch the whole thing. It's ridiculous just how much good stuff comes from 100 legendary star drops. It's crazy. This dude is decked out. Our next segment, I stumbled across this tweet from Adrian. Oh, it's getting me so freaking hype about this update. Adrian saying, hey everyone, wrapping up the balance changes for the next update. What are some brothers you wish to be included? And let me tell you what, there are so many recommendations here, bro. Patchy wants a Chuck rework. OG wants a nerf to Charlie, Cordelius, Angelo, Melody, and a buff to Chester, Macy, Mandy, Gus, Daryl, Frank, Hank, Janet, and Grum. Hey, look at this, a recent topic we just discussed on the channel, Pika, also saying, please fix Bull's Hypercharge, dude, the bug, it's been a while. Been seeing a lot of nerf Angelos in this post as well, Angelo is pretty dang broken, but yeah, it's getting me in the right mood, right, for this next update, seeing this discussion going on, and Adrian saying, you know, the balance changes are wrapping up. That update is just right around the corner. And then Adrian also saying, really appreciate all of your thoughts. I hope you'll really enjoy the upcoming changes. Pretty dang hype. I'm looking forward to seeing what they're doing here with this next update. The theme and stuff like that is kind of a little bit of a mystery outside of those skins and the themes coming from the skins in that survey. But yeah, who doesn't like a little surprise, right? It's fun to be a little bit left in the dark, right? You don't want it all spoiled. 
I don't know if you guys have mini accounts or anything like that, but this is all too common. I think on some of my mini accounts, I have these and it's so sad, so depressing. The caption really speaks wonders here. Guys, let's push rank 20 together tomorrow. <laughs> These guys logged out for more than 2,000 days, man. It's almost as if they made their account and then once they made it, they just logged out forever. Brawl Stars comes out, they try it for like five minutes. Yeah, no, they peace out. 2,000 days <laughs> in years is 5.6 years, bro. That's crazy. I gotta see, I'm curious. I'm over here on a uh, mini of mine. And yeah, look at this. <laughs> I've got a 2,072 day one. Dude, we've all been there, right? I would love to hear if you guys have anything more than like 2,000 days. So sad, man. Come on back, yo. We miss you. Oh my gosh. You just got, what do you do if this thing starts chasing you? I love the thing right there. <laughs> Dude, I don't know. This phenomenon where Brawl Stars gets more popular with this most recent update, right? A lot of new players come to the game. It's like a new wave of Edgar disdain, and it's very funny to see. Edgar gets a lot of hate and has been a very divisive brawler for such a long time, but ever since a lot of people came back to the game and normally Edgar rampages at lower trophies, just the absolute hate for this brawler is wild. It's wild. But to wrap things up here in this episode today, I thought I would give you guys a friendly reminder around the Super Cell Make campaign that's going on right now. Six hours ago at the point that I'm recording this video, the votes are out people. We've had thousands of Mr. P and Amber skin submissions for the latest make campaign, so now it's time to choose your favorite. Just to jog your memory, it is the summer of fire and ice for this Supercell campaign. And I gotta say, there are a lot of really, really great skins here, especially for the Amber skins. It's just getting me in that summer mood, you know, where it's nice and warm outside. We're in those good vibe territories, dude. Cookouts in the backyard. Stuff like that, man. I'm getting there. I want summer, dude. But yeah, if you guys have some time, make sure to go check out Supercell Make. Vote for the ones that you really, really want in game. It's one of those things where we have a little bit of say as a community, which also feels really, really nice. Super cool. Can't wait to see who's going to end up coming on top. I'm guessing these are going to be released for the summer update that's coming up. But yeah, man, that's just about all I got for you here in this episode today. Thank you all for stopping by, chilling out with your boy. I appreciate all of you. We'll be talking super soon. Adios and take care.